In this video, I get high temperatures, I put a motherboard in the oven, and I cool down a CPU. Before we put any water near this thing, we need to basically just take the power supply and the motherboard out. It's so that we have more room so we can sort of pour the water a bit better, so... I don't really know how many screws are holding this motherboard in, but we're just gonna guess. Oh, alright, it just just pops up. I'm just gonna shove that off to one side, and now we can may maybe disconnect these SATA cables. Lovely. So now the motherboard's unscrewed, it's, it's quite loose. Now we need to disconnect the power supply, so I mean, I think it's just these two cables here. So the other one's up here. Come on. There we go. Turn big TV on to get me upgraded heatsink, then shove this in here. Oh, I need to put the other fan in. Is it gonna turn on? Give us a second. There we go. I mean, it seems to work. Let's see if this heatsink heats up. I mean, so far it's not. Do we have to wait for this or can we just spam the keyboard? So now motherboard's out, we need to get this power supply out. Do that, I think it's just these four screws back in and it should just slide out. So now this should just slide off. There we go, look at that. There we go. Will that stand up there? No, I don't think it will. We need to plug um, some stuff in the back anyway. So now this is out, we just need to take this front fan off. And then, Alright, yeah, two screws at the back. This looks loose now. Do we just lift it up? Yep. Alright. CPU cool is that? I mean... That is tiny. I thought that, I thought that was going to be a bit a bit thicker, like... Well, not, not as thick as this, but... Right, so now all we have to do is we need to shove this power supply in, shove this hard drive in, and then see if it turns on. So now they're in. Let's shove some power in there. Try and find which connector jump starts it. I think it's some, it'll be somewhere up here. So before we shove water on this... Right, now we've got the stock configuration. we got fan on there. Uh, we're going to have a look at these CPU temperatures and we're going to see if it decreases when we shove water on it. I have recently replaced thermal paste in this because it, it, it was extremely crusty. It's about 45 degrees. Let's let's see if it stays on that. I'm just going to leave it running for a couple minutes and we're going to see if it goes up. Oh right, yeah, so average temperature is about 47, 48, 40, yeah, 47, 48. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this fan off. We're going to let it go up to 90 degrees. Now we're going to shove water on here. And we're going to see how much it drops. Right, we're on 56 degrees now. So let's prepare this. I haven't really thought this through quite hot now. So we've got a new setup now. We've got plastic container. We've got the heat sink. We've got... Oh, a, a water bottle. We're going to pour the water directly onto here so it doesn't go on the table or everywhere. It's going to drip into here. Then when this is full, I'm just going to empty it and shove it back down there. And then we'll see if it cools down. I know it's not the right fan, but it should do something. Right, stress test is running, so this CPU temperature should just fly up. Right, so it's at 60 degrees, 61. I think we're on 70. Let's get it up to 80. All right, yeah, we're going to cool that down. Shove the bit of water on. Oh, it's ramping down. 80, 79. Come on. Oh, I just threw some on the graphics card by accident. Oh, it's going right down, the temperature is. Look at that. 66 degrees. Should we just tip it upside down and just dip the CPU cooler in there? All right, it's in there. Let's just fill it up with water. All right, we're at 61 degrees now. 57 degrees. It's still on the stress test, by the way. Let's stop the test. Let's, let's see how cool we can get it. Test stop, so that should just instantly drop. Come on, 46, 45, 40, yep, all right. All right, 36 degrees, let's, let's just continue. 47, yeah, no, I, I, think, I think it's just gonna heat up the water. Actually, no, we've made a kettle. Right, what if now we stand this up? How are we gonna do this? It seems to be stuck on the GPU. Oh God, I've just spilt it all on the power supply. All right, move this out. These cables are too short. Oh no, well, that's the water all over my PC. All right, let's just slide this back on. Is it gonna go on? And I've killed it. Let's clear all this up. Let's get the water off the motherboard. All right, yeah, there, there is water absolutely everywhere now. Fans back on. Let's shove the power supply back in. Hopefully it boots. There is water all along the bottom of the power supply though. Now let's touch one of these pins. I think we've killed it. It might just be because the motherboard's wet. Let's unplug this. We'll leave it for 24 hours and I'll see you tomorrow. So this has now been sitting for 48 hours. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and see if it turns on. All right, so the power supply's plugged in. Oh, well, it just turned itself on. No signal just yet. Come on. Hopefully I ain't killed it. Oh. Oh! Yes! 
Right, we're back up and running. We've loaded. Right, how are we going to position this? So I found a graphics card extension mining thing. So basically what you do is you plug your graphics card in here. I know you meant to put it up here, but we're going to submerge this thing in water. So and then what you do is you shove this in there, put a bit of power to there, and then this should work. Right, let's shove some power into it. Oh, no. I've just sparked it on the power supply. Hopefully I didn't break anything. I think I busted it. Nope, all right, I've not busted it. Thought I blew my graphics card up then. Actually, should we line the graph? No, let's stand the graphics card up. I'm just gonna... Oh God. Well, I just nudged the graphics card. Now it's going red. All right, the graphics card just came loose a bit. Come on. Yes, graphics card's fine. This time we've got a different container. It's sort of wider and thinner than the other one. For some reason, it doesn't recognize the drivers. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sh rip this off. We're gonna sort of flip the board sort of onto this, and then we're gonna fill this with water, and then we'll see what happens. Right, how are we gonna do this? Hopefully, it doesn't power off. Or well, hopefully, we don't break anything, actually. There we go, it's in. You could probably see motherboard upside down, heat sinks there, sort of this fan. Oh, well, the fan cool in the back won't affect it as much. We've also upgraded to cooler water, so we've, we've got this sort of ice pack in here. Right, the back plate's getting warm. Fans are ramping up. You, you could probably hear that now. 67 degrees. Let's shove some water in it. Hopefully I don't miss. All right, water been poured in. Is it going down? I mean, this water's quite cold. All right, there we go. Now we're going down. Shove some more water in. 59, 58, come on. Only a quarter of it is submerged, so we've got a lot more to go. I mean, it's staying at 57 degrees. What if we shove the fan and the water together? Let's stop the test. Now let's just watch this drop right down. Let's see how cold it can get. Now it should just drop. Let's see how cold we can get it. 42 degrees, 41, it's going down. 44, come on, get down, 39. Nope, 37. Might have to rock it back and forth a bit. If we wait for it, it should be able to get to like about 10. 29 degrees, I mean, this is even cooler than if the fan was on. I think the room temperature is about 30. 27, it's still dropping. Will it go below 24 degrees? All right, let's shove the fan back on. Should we just drop the fan in it as well? Let's go for it. Oh. All right, let's try that again. It's like a propeller. Wait, look, it's sucking it in. Right, quick, let's get Prime 95 off. I mean, it's working, it's going down. Come on, <laughs> let's see if we can get it to 10 degrees. It's literally throwing water all along the CPU cooler and nowhere else. It went 18 degrees, it's dropping 17. Now let's lift it up. I mean, water's not even on the mother one, it's just thrown it onto the CPU cooler. I don't know how well you can see that. 18 degrees, 21. It is really loud though. All right, let's go, running the stress test. Normally it will stay about 40, 45. I think we're staying at 30 this time. It's actually working. You know what, I think we've done it. So combining water and a CPU cooler with the fan on. Oh, it's shutting down. Now, hopefully it turns back on. Yes, fan's spinning. Let's just shove a little bit of water in. Let's go a little bit at a time. Not too much, so that the fan has loads of resistance and start, stops completely. F1. I don't know if you can see this very well, but the fan is on full pelt. Should we just YOLO it again? All right, we're just gonna tip loads of water in again. Windows is updating again. There we go. Right, so now the fan starts to struggle. If we can seal these gaps so the water has to flow through these fins, we can probably get this to work. Oh, it's froze. Let's shut this down. Oh, it just said on screen, don't turn off computer. Oh, well. I'm going to try and sort of seal off the gaps from the fan and the heatsink, so hopefully it pushes all the water through the fins instead of coming out the side. Guys, we're in a bit of a pickle. Basically, this thing doesn't want to boot anymore because every time you turn it on, it does this. You see what it's doing? It's turning on, then it's just turning off. But then when you unplug the CPU, there you go. It, it works when you unplug the CPU. But obviously nothing will show up on screen because there's no power getting to the CPU. I think there's water underneath the CPU. So what we're going to do is we're going to rip this heatsink off and then we're just going to see if there is any. This has been off like a couple of months ago to replace the thermal paste. So it's quite new under here. 
Yeah, there we go. That's a new thermal paste. I mean, I, f I think I put a bit too much on there, but... Right, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to take the CPU off. I mean, there's no water underneath, but there is a bit of thermal paste under there. Shall I just leave this off? See, now it works. How about if we plug it in? No, it just, wa it just wants to die instantly. Right, people, so it looks like we fried the motherboard. So what we're going to try and do is we can either put it in the oven or we can try and fix it with a hairdryer, which I don't know if it will be hot enough. Oh, well, let's try it. Let's try and pop the rear I.O. cover off or whatever you want to call this. Is there any water? There's no water behind it. You know what, I might just try and put it in the oven. So this is the oven. I wouldn't recommend doing this in the oven that you normally use because, well, of, of the fumes that it will release, but th th that don't really matter. Anyways, let's set the temperature to 125 degrees, shove the motherboard in, and, well, let's just wait for 12 minutes. All right, so it's been a couple minutes now, and I mean, I have no idea if this is how you're meant to do it or not, but we've got eight more minutes left. So I've just left it to set for about 20 minutes till it's cooled down. So now we're just gonna scroll this cover stuff on and let's see if it's fixed it power supply let's plug you in on it works wait i think it's working come on show something on the screen wait did i fix it maybe we need to cook it in the oven again Alright, so I forgot to record this part, but basically I just did the same thing, but I cooked it a bit hotter at 150 degrees, not 125. Alright, so I've just shoved it out of the oven. We're going to see if it works. Oh. No, come on. Come on. I've just realised I forgot to take the CMOS battery out when I put it in the oven. Yep, I think it's died. I think we've killed the computer. CPU's not even hot. We've killed it. So I would have liked to do a bit more testing on this thing, but I mean, as you can see, the motherboard's a bit fried, doesn't want to turn on anymore. If you want to see a part two of me doing this, but on a different computer, then, you know, just, just let me know in the comments. So if you want to know more about this computer I just killed, I did make a full video on it, which is being shown at the top left of your screen. So, I mean, that's it. Please subscribe and we will see you next week.